How are you guys this week? Free range meat vlog number, I think it's number five. I don't remember. <laughs> my brain's is fried, guys. I got up at like 5 a.m. to drive over to my Amish buddies, talk to them, check some stuff out, got back around one uh, to eat something, and now we are down here at work. So, I have a few things to do today, but you know, since I spend most of the day driving in my car, and meeting with my Amish friends. I have not had time to do anything down here today, so I'll have to get everything finished tomorrow. My guys are uh, bringing the orders over. Everything's pretty much packed up. They're finishing putting away some eggs in here. Got the eggs all packed up. Duck eggs all packed up here. Some more meat orders. Uh, so a few things I usually forget to tell you guys. One is if you are a West Coast customer, mainly California, please try to order, you know, $150, $200 worth of stuff because unfortunately right now with our shipping situation, we are breaking even on a lot of these orders. Uh, and <laughs> until I replicate myself and have a clone uh, to run a West Coast fulfillment warehouse, that's all I can really do for now. Just ask you guys on the West Coast to order a little bit more so we at least make some money on the packages. Uh, when you buy these products, most of the stuff from the website, the dairy, the eggs, like potato chips on the foods, you're supporting the local Amish farmers a lot. And it's really dependent on the consistent business for them because it's really what they do. Like I barely make any money on any of those products, but that income that they get is a large percentage of their income. So... Just keep in mind, guys, when you're purchasing the dairy, as I said, the dairy, eggs, and stuff, that the money is going to, like, a good cause. Like, yeah, just keep that in mind, guys. You're not supporting, you know, some giant corporation of people that like stealing money and taking advantage of people. You're actually giving money directly to the Amish farmers uh, because a lot of these guys are stuck selling their milk to, you know, big milk companies that are barely paying them anything for the product. So those big companies are pocketing most of the profit in their big production facilities. Anyway, I'm standing in our potato chip room. I think I told you guys last week, uh, the coconut oil potato chips are now back in stock. We have a lot of butter available, grass-fed, A2A2 raw butter, uh, much larger volume than normal. Guys, I need to take a nap. I went to bed at like, Fell asleep at 1 a.m. last night and got up at 5. Sat in my car for three hours. Thought I was going to fall asleep. But we saw the pigs this morning. Meat looks good. It's basically raw milk fed pork, so it's very, very healthy. Very, very healthy meat. That should be available in a week or two, so I won't touch too much on that. Uh, nothing crazy this week. I'm going to try to get some. Uh, maybe we can get some stuff installed the hood vent and the restaurant equipment i just had some guy drop these off these steel uh u-boat carts for about 125 each which to me seems expensive for used stuff but brand new these are like crazy crazy these are like probably nine hundred thousand dollars brand new for uh steel u-boat carts the ones we had are very old they don't work that well yeah speaking of getting affordable stuff like first few cold days out here, I immediately like went online and bought some better clothing, like new sweaters and stuff. The sweaters I bought like four or five years ago on Amazon, these these champion sweaters were $13 each. Now they were like 38. I was like, what? Literally triple the price. So I had to find a cheaper alternative, but uh, I got a bunch of stuff to do guys. I gotta print out some orders and try to get some stuff done and honestly I think I have to go home and lay down and rest because I'm about to drop. Surprised I didn't fall asleep on the car ride home. Surprised I even made it here to work today, but whatever. I forgot to bring this camera home yesterday, so uh, last week we posted the vlog a day late on Tuesday. So I gotta go home and edit this. I gotta edit last week's video today and put it up. And when we went with the Amish earlier, uh, they said the chickens are uh, increasing their egg production daily. So hopefully the eggs are starting to come back in soon. 
and I don't want to ramble too much because I don't have much else to talk about today. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, Tuesday. What's up, guys? It's Tuesday. I forgot to bring my new vlog camera, so I'm just on the phone uh, checking on the fermentations and the sauerkraut. No good. Uh, went too long. Temperature was a little too hot. However, the jardiniera and the pickles are okay. Jardiniera is delicious. Turned out really nice. The pickles are a little too soft. We just have to use different pickles next time, but they're still good. Uh, it's about three o'clock right now. I've been packing up orders for Oregon Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. My guys already finished all the, the meat orders and foods orders today, egg orders. That's what we're pretty much wrapping up. Here, we're just gonna jar up the jardiniera and the pickles and then maybe give the sauerkraut a second try. What happened was one night in that freezer, the temperature got too hot to like 95. And then the sauerkraut was maybe in there a little too long. So we'll have to mess around with the sauerkraut recipe next time. Maybe put a little garlic in there and some some stuff to, to get the fermentation going a little better with like some wild yeast. Yeah, there's really not much going on today. I mean, the day's pretty much done, so I don't really have much to show you. All the meat is sent out. All the eggs are sent out. We sent out all the foods orders, all the post office orders. FedEx came nice and early, so we got everything. Uh, but we do have some more orders uh, to send out tomorrow, Wednesday. And that should be the last shipping day this week. And then we'll try to catch up on a few things. We got to make the granola bars, the pemmican with the blueberry and honey. And uh, maybe I will try to make another batch of sauerkraut. We'll get the cabbage in this week. And maybe we can restock the beef barley stew. Oh, we have to have to grind that chicken up, chicken breast. That's probably the main thing we have to do. But we should have plenty of time this week because we don't have any meat orders coming in. Not too much crazy stuff going on. So that should be that. Uh, I have to finish some more orders. And I have a phone call with a supply company and then I gotta go home and film some videos for YouTube for tomorrow and try to do some shorts before it gets dark out because now that it's getting dark at like 5 or 6 p.m. I have to like rush home and film otherwise I don't have the, the daylight so nice quick Tuesday not really much to show you guys uh, we'll definitely do some more tomorrow but uh, now the the jardiniera and the pickles will be listed on the foods website. We should have a decent amount of jardiniera. Um, the pickles, pretty limited amount. And obviously the sauerkraut didn't work. So uh, we'll try that next time. What's up, guys? It is Wednesday. I did want to announce that we're considering doing a dairy pickup site in the city, uh, New York City. So if you guys are interested, I'll probably do another video on it. I'm going to send out an email. Basically, our dairy farmer has like more milk than we can sell and more dairy products in general that we're able to sell on the website. So I figured, you know, sometimes it's a product that some people like buying in person, mainly the milk, like the other stuff, like the butter, the cream, the cheese, like that stuff ships just fine. But I'm guessing if we started doing a pickup site in New York, then maybe you guys, uh, we, you know, we'd be able to support the Amish farmers more and get them more money and just sell more dairy products in general. So let me know guys. Uh, if you are interested, send us an email to info at frankiestrangemeat.com with what your weekly order would be. You know, we have all the basic dairy stuff, A2, A2, raw grass-fed milk, butter, cream, cottage cheese farm, basically any cow dairy product you want. I mean, just send us a list of the products that you would order every week if we were doing the dairy pickup sites in the city. Uh, because I'm, try I'm trying to help these guys out and I would eventually like to move to, to pick up sites and deliveries in the future. I'm just trying to figure out logistically, like the only way we would do it now is if we had a large volume of orders at once. But it would probably just be like a, a pick up site somewhere in Midtown or in Manhattan. And, uh, you know, we drive in, you guys would pick up your order, pay us, and it would be like once a week probably on a Saturday or a Sunday. Uh, I wanted to put that at the beginning of the vlog, but we'll just do it at the beginning of the vlog next week. Uh, the pickup sites would hypothetically start maybe at the end of this year, early next year on the weekends. Not not sure yet, but we'll have to see what the demand is. And I'm sure once we get started, the demand would go up and be worth it. But, you know, we need to have some type of starting point. 
worth it for me to you know rent or get a reefer van and lose my mind driving over there on the weekend but kind of quiet Wednesday you know we didn't get any meat deliveries in my guys have all the orders packed up for the day that's what they did this morning we're just waiting for FedEx to come get them I told you guys yesterday the sauerkraut was over fermented it was too hot in there it needed to be like 80 it needs to be like uh, 70 degrees it was 80 most of the time and uh, the pickles also no good, but the jardiniera is delicious. I'll show you guys that. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys that now because really don't have much else to show you guys today. We have quite a bit of our organic jardiniera. It's uh, pretty cloudy from you know all the bacteria and the fermentation and stuff, but this is made with minimally inflammatory vegetables. You know, Jardinier will typically have some other stuff that's not as great for your gut, but all we used here is cauliflower, onion, celery, oregano, garlic, and some small amount of like sweet yellow peppers. And uh, I'm gonna say, I think I said it, lacto-fermented. So this is not your typical like pickled Jardiniera. This has a very high probiotic content. I'm curious if this is gonna explode if I open it. Put my camera down. Okay, so uh, it's not fermenting a crazy amount where the pressure is going to build up and the, and the jars are going to explode, but I tasted this yesterday and it has like a very savory, like umami, acidic sharpness from the fermentation. Uh, I think I put them on the website for $12. Might go down to $10, but I was like looking online, people are selling regular Jardinera in this size for 15 bucks. It's That's not organic and not lacto-fermented. So, you know, I think $12 for, for what we're selling here is pretty good. And worst case scenario, I'll just lower the price a little bit, but it's a very, very special product that no one else is making. Yeah, so that Jardinera is on frankiesfreerangefoods.com, not frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Pretty limited amount available, but we can always make more. I did order cucumbers and cabbage. We're gonna try the, the pickles and the sauerkraut uh, again. Uh, so we should have those ready in three weeks. I'm gonna actually pay attention and make sure they ferment properly because the jardiniera turned out very, very good. So there's no reason the other stuff shouldn't turn out good. We just need to change the process a little bit and make sure the temperature is correct. So a little bit of a delay on that, but it is it's October 25th, so Probably like the week of November 20th, the week of Thanksgiving, we'll probably have the cat, the sauerkraut and the pickles available. Or maybe before that, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to show you guys today. I mean, I could go down a list of a few things that have come in recently, but uh, we are still waiting on a bunch of new stuff that you know might come in next week or the week after or this week, not really sure. So we should have some more stuff to film uh, the rest of the vlog the rest of the week. Either way, I will see you guys tomorrow, Thursday. What's up guys, it is Thursday, quiet day. Not really much to show you guys. We've just been doing some miscellaneous stuff. I'll give you a quick look around. Uh, so this is all the lemon light that I made. Uh, we're just waiting on some larger labels. We have some slightly smaller containers. But the thing with the powders is, if you have a pound of powder, sometimes it fits in a 16 ounce container, sometimes it doesn't. Like in the case of the lemon light, one pound actually fits in a 16 ounce container. These 19 ounce containers are actually for one pound of the collagen powder, which, you know, because of the lightness of the powder, the volume is much higher, it doesn't fit. So, a little hard to figure out sometimes. Finally restock some granola bars for you guys. Dark chocolate and a white chocolate chip. Uh, just count how many when you're done, okay? And here we have our produce order. So we got ingredients for the beef barley stew and we're gonna do the sauerkraut and the pickles again. So that's what I ordered. That's what we'll be doing tomorrow, making sauerkraut and pickles. We also made the blueberry honey pemmican, much smaller amount of honey than the last time, but uh, it does not fit in our bar machine. So we have the bricks. So we got granola bars, we got the blueberry honey pemmican restocked the lemon light, restocked the collagen powder, and uh, maybe some other stuff will come in this week, maybe not. Either way, 
Uh, we'd show you guys that produce, so that's gonna keep us kind of busy. Uh, we don't have meat for the stew, or I don't think we have enough meat for the stew, so we're gonna wait to make the beef barley stew next week. Uh, and then those, those fermentation, the sauerkraut and the pickle should be ready in about three weeks. Uh, we also restock some different water kefir flavors and we have a huge sale on the water kefir grains. We have a lot, so I think I put like a 16 ounce jar at $12, which is probably like a quarter of the price of any other water kefir grains online, so it's a really good deal. I guess that's gonna be it for today. I got a bunch of things to catch up on. I got like some return to sender orders I gotta go through and see what happened and refund the customers and then uh, maybe do a few things at my house, like eating lunch like a normal person. We'll see. I'll see you guys Friday. What's up guys? It is Friday and I came in earlier just to show my guys some stuff, do a few things. Now it's about, I don't know, two o'clock and we did get a few shipments in, the eggs, the dairy, a lot of chicken that my guys have been labeling like for the past three hours. Uh, so I guess I'll show you guys what we did today. We have the new batch of pickles. And we're gonna do the sauerkraut too. Difference is this time that the pickles are kept whole. Yeah, my guys have been labeling chicken all morning. Here we have some fresh drumsticks. Then we have the sauerkraut over here. It's all massaged, we're about to put it in glass. Uh, we actually used a starter, basically took some pre-made sauerkraut and put it in there to give it like a start on the lactobacillus cultures. So in the fridge, We had some fresh dairy come in for you guys. This is actually the farm fresh pork. I'm gonna label this and put it in the freezer now. This is gonna be the new local pork share. Over here is the, the ground pork we have on top here. That's all the ground pork. And then this is the eggs that came in this week. So we have, I don't know, maybe a little more than half the amount of chicken eggs we usually get in. But next week on Friday, we should get in a full pallet of eggs, plus I got two other farmers that are sending us a lot of eggs. So we should have plenty of eggs next week for you guys. I think I think that's gonna be a decent restock and then maybe the, the sales will dissipate a bit or you guys will just buy them all. So I'll talk about that pork a little bit more. Uh, I think those are the only three cuts that I have to show you right now. The pork chops, which are pork rib chops and pork New York strip chops, the shoulder blade chops, and then the ground pork. What should come in next week is we're gonna have some smoked ham and smoked bacon. So the pork share isn't gonna be like a crazy amount of items, but it's all fresh, minimally inflammatory, corn and soy free pork. And uh, hopefully we, I mean, I don't know how much they're gonna charge me for it, but uh, it should be much more affordable than the Iberico. So local pork share will be available probably a few days after this video is posted. It's not gonna be available when you guys see it because we're still waiting on the ham and the bacon to be made. It has to cure for about a week and then they're gonna smoke it. Yeah, but pretty much all the meat we sell, guys, it's like freshly slaughtered and immediately frozen. Uh, so that chicken that you guys are buying, it's like freshly slaughtered every week. It's the freshest chicken you can buy. And that pork is, is super, super fresh too. Sometimes we have aged beef in, but I got a few reviews I'll just read real quick for you guys. Five star view for the grass fed beef and bone broth, plain beef stew. Nothing like it, absolutely delicious and nutritious. It's a nice hearty meal, especially nice with the cooler weather coming. I add a little salt and tallow and ghee or raw butter. Very simple and easy to prepare a meal. I'm grateful that Frankie is providing high quality foods like this. Yeah, I actually had some yesterday myself. I forgot to bring home some meat, but I had a jar of it in the fridge. So I just poured it over some rice. Um, and it's nice because you know you have the broth in there too with the, the meat. Nice in the colder months, as he said. Five star review for the Vichy Soi. So good, so delicious. I like it warmed up and I put fresh chopped chives on top, my new favorite soup. Hey, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the Vichy Soi. Uh, it didn't turn out perfect uh, like I wanted it to, but we've only had positive feedback so far. Five star review for the grass fed ribeye package. Steaks are nirvana. I absolutely love the grass fed ribeye steaks. I sear both sides on medium high heat in a bit of olive oil. Then add A2A2 A2 butter, crushed garlic and rosemary, then spoon the butter over the steak for a bit. Rest and serve, yeah, maybe as soon as I permanently retire, I'll have time to do recipes like that myself, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying all the products. Yeah, we got plenty of the natural collagen for you guys. 
My guys made some flex straws too and the rest of our whey protein. We should get more coming in though. Plenty of lemon light, these are just not labeled. I don't know if you guys saw it, but we have new mastic containers. These are only like seven or eight dollars each on organsupplements.com. Uh, a little more affordable. And all of the bovine supplements we sell are about one third of the price of other companies. These are like 20 to 25 dollars each. So very, very affordable. I don't know if I'm the only person with a moral standing, but you know, if I get a product in and it costs me X amount, and I go and look what other people are selling it for online, and they're selling it for 10 times the amount of my purchase price, I'm not gonna sell it what they're selling it for. I'm gonna sell it at a normal profit margin. So, like to, to me, when stuff is being sold for that much money, it, it shows that like the market's manipulated and these big corporations control all the media. So like the small businesses don't get to sell their product at all. And the big businesses are selling the same product at double the price and that's what people are buying from. So, trying to, to be fair about it. Yeah, I think I was showing you guys yesterday, the white chocolate chip and dark chocolate chip granola bars are back in stock. We have the plain pemmican as well as the blueberry honey pemmican. But uh, the blueberry honey pemmican is like this too. It's in the big bricks. We don't have the small bars anymore. I don't know why my, my guys put them over here. Beef pemmican, blueberry honey. Let me know how you guys like this with the new meat. You know, worst case scenario, we have to go back to the old one. But I have a few things to do today, guys. Uh, some quality control, making sure everything's okay. Uh, I gotta fill some orders and uh, I gotta clean some stuff up. So I will see you guys for Saturday. I mean, all those eggs are probably gonna be sold out by the time this video is posted. But we do have a nice amount of farm fresh dairy products. Guys, I, I check everything to make sure it, it's fresh and it tastes good every time. So we, we just got in sour cream this week, which is new, but we have everything. We have the milk, cream, butter, kefir, yogurt, cottage cheese, everything's available. And um, the butter, which I think I was talking about in the last vlog, is a, is a new low price. If you guys do want to stock up on the A2A2 raw grass fed farm butter, but I'll see you guys for Saturday. So I got the pork all ready to go. As I said, we're just waiting on the bacon and the ham, but this is the ground pork. You know, it's not as dark as Iberico, but it's pretty close to be honest. Looks good. Not too much fat in there, just enough. We have a lot of the rib chops as well. This is the, you know, the rib and the strip loin on the pork. It's cut into pork chops. So that's what we have mostly is ground pork and pork chops. So when you guys buy the local pork package, it's probably going to be two or three pounds of pork, two or three packages of rib chops, one pack of shoulder chops, and one pack of pork ribs. You can see in the ribs here, you know, this is actually as dark as Iberico on some of this rib section. So very high quality meat, raw milk fed. And then the other product that we do have that came in is the liverwurst. I'm not sure if I have enough to give two of these per order. Uh, so I think we're gonna start with one liverwurst per order and then towards the end, maybe we can double up, but it's better that everyone gets one than you know, most people don't get it. So that's the pork package. It's gonna be ready. Uh, hopefully by the end of this week. Just gonna take another look at this for you guys. We got the pickles already, cabbage leaves on top, a little bit of uh, just covering on it, make sure nothing gets in or out. Uh, same with the sauerkraut. So on this, we have, you know, the cabbage leaves on top, and then there's some, some black river rocks, just kind of weighing everything down. So hopefully three weeks, we're good to go. What's up guys, it is Saturday. I am in a haze because like when I woke up, the first thing I did was just film my YouTube video, edit it, get it uploaded. So that was like the first few hours of my day and then I kind of rushed to work, uh, showed my guys some computer training stuff. So now it's already 3 p.m. and uh, we got a few things to show you guys today. Uh, we did get the chicken breast all nice and ground up and uh, all the orders are ready and printed out for uh, tomorrow, Sunday, we we're gonna fill them in the freezer. I got the uh, some guy coming to check today for the install of the hood. My guys have been packing up some of the egg orders. These are gonna go back in the fridge for Monday. Yep. Ground chicken breast is now available, corn and soy free. 
I think this is gonna be like $17.50 a pound. It's gonna be about the same price, uh, a little less than we're charging for the uh, the whole chicken breast. I have to double check that, but we got plenty of that for you guys. This is the, uh, the pork package. A little bit of ice in there, but the steaks look okay. Yeah, because the, the soup chicken meat was like too tough to cook like a normal chicken breast, so decided to just have it ground up for you guys. And it's another product we wanted to offer anyway. Plus our chicken farmer has plenty of meat broilers. Uh, so we have, yeah, huge chicken shipment came in. Uh, I can show you that. I mean, might as well show you guys now. This is all goat testicles. Oh yeah, we got a really good price on goat testicles, so we might have a reduction on those. But yeah, all the chicken restocked. So there's some chicken here, and then there's a lot of chicken, like all, all of this is chicken. So, you know, we got skin on chicken breast, more breast, chicken heads over here, some drumsticks, we got everything guys. We got plenty of chicken more chicken than I know what to do with and uh, we should have a decent amount of chicken skins in like a special product that some of you guys might like especially corn and soy free you know it's hard to find the, the quality stuff online I'm glad we're able to offer uh, corn and soy free chicken at an affordable price I think my uh, hood install guys here so uh, I'm, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog for today guys there, there's nothing else really uh, I have to show you today and then uh, yeah, what's up? Are you here? I'll be outside in a sec. What's up, guys? Sunday, last day of the vlog this week. <laughs> My camera battery is about to die, so ho hopefully we got some juice left. Uh, the plumber came and hooked up the gas line to that heater. It was just like a quick attachment, and he put a new thermostat, so not too big of a job now we have heat in here so my my guys won't complain anymore they, they don't dress for, like they don't dress for the weather so like i'll be in here sweating and they'll be cold so it's whatever but we got the heat hooked up there um they, they cut the pipe over here that was blocking me from putting new vinyl curtains up so if we put those up we should have a bit better insulation in here and uh my guys are in the freezer packing up orders right now Oh, turkey pre-orders. I don't remember if I spoke about them in this vlog, but you guys should probably order your turkeys ASAP because uh, in a week or two, we're gonna have them in. Yeah, all of the egg orders are packed up and ready to ship ASAP tomorrow, Monday. Some more egg orders. Dairy is ready to go too. Everything's ready to ship out. have been doing the meat orders for the past few hours so we got all the meat orders ready I think we're good the main new thing is that ground chicken breast I showed you guys yesterday and my guys restocked some of the organ grind uh, I also put a, a price reduction on the organ grind it's I think it's down to ten dollars now because I really don't care I'm ready to retire it's whatever just in business not to make money just kill myself until I collapse Fairly productive week. We restocked a lot of stuff. I'm a little concerned about the, the new pemmican. Uh, the meat, you know, doesn't taste as good as I thought it was, but I'll, I'll get some feedback first, see how you guys like it, you know. We restocked almost everything. We got fresh cookie bars, granola bars, meat granola, the pemmican. We got the quinoa crisp bars. Basically everything besides the best bars are back in stock and we have a ton of potato chips. So this week I'm hoping we're gonna get in uh, some missing organ supplements products and maybe some Wi-Fi shielding restock stuff and uh, maybe the rest of the pork share and we'll be able to launch the pork share uh, next week. But I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. Not as, as much of a crazy amount going on. And uh, I guess uh, I'll wait till tomorrow uh, so talk to you guys about what's going on, but uh, my guys are going to take, I think, some days off next week. So it might be an even shorter vlog, which is nicer, a more hour-long nonsense. But I do have a few things to do today, guys. Uh, get some orders done, get everything organized. Yeah, I'm going to say it in next week's vlog, 
uh, definitely pre-order the turkeys ASAP, guys. And the pork share is coming, and we should have a lot more eggs next week. But that'll be it. I'll stop rambling. I'll see you guys for the next free-range meat vlog. Check out frankdash.com if you guys do want to see all the businesses. Frankie's Strange Meat, Frankie's Strange Foods, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals, Organ Supplements. And uh, we got plenty of plenty of potato chips in our potato chip room. <laughs>